So she's heating up the wok real quick and then she's gonna give me that roti, Goran. Where are you from? Uh, Sayadari, America. Ah, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And it is very popping over here, look at this. And I just stumbled upon these two cuties. Look at this little kitten. And then also we have a pirate kitty. Why is he a pirate? Because he's missing an eye. And look how big the small is, guys. Wow. This is Batam, Indonesia. Check it out. Hello, welcome to Batam, Indonesia. So I recently just got here. And today I just want to show you around the city center area and show you how it is. These are going to be my first impressions of Batam. Currently I'm right in front of this massive building over here, which is called Grand Batam Mall which is supposed to be one of the newest malls here in Batam and also one of the biggest. So let me just show you the vibes over here real quick. So this over here is called Circle K, which is, hello. Hi guys. <laughs> hello. So this is called Circle K, which we do have in the States. They do not have 7-Eleven, unfortunately. Hi guys, how are you guys? Is it good? <laughs> Everyone's so happy here. It's like a big like biker gang of people. But yeah guys, let's go, let's go walk around and explore. All right, bye-bye guys. So if you guys know Circle K, it's actually a famous uh, store in America that just a convenience store has a lot of stuff over here. I yet to see 7-Eleven, which I think I just said that, but I was kind of distracted from like all the people in the background. But yeah, let's just walk around this area and check it out. Just give you the vibes of how like Batam, Indonesia does look like. So if you ever do decide to come to Batam, you'll have an idea. It's only one hour south by ferry from Singapore. So that's how I got here is by ferry. So if you do want to see how it is to come here, just uh, watch the previous video to this. That'll be the video that show you how I came from Singapore to Batam. And it gives you like all the information you need in order to come here. We are going to go inside of the mall, but first of all, I was like, let me just show you how it is to walk on the streets over here and give you a better feel of the area. Because anytime when I like to travel, I like to see the local streets and see how people live their life. And I just found this place on my right. It looks like it's a little food center. Let's go inside and just check it out. See how it is. So just before I get inside, you can see there's a sink here. It's is customary in Indonesian culture and also Malaysian culture to wash your hands before you eat. I guess that's like mostly like uh, for Muslims what they like to do. Let's see, let's just see. Looks like a little food stand area. Let's see what kind of foods they're offering and how much our price is. So one USD dollar equals about 15k of their money, so you can just convert it like 20k, that'd be like a dollar twenty for like a fish. And you're gonna see a lot of places do have these halal signs too, because some food in Indonesian in Indonesia, sorry, are halal, some are not. Just to give you an idea. Ooh, this looks nice, Rojak. It's like with a mixed fruit and stuff. Chili, so it's like mixed cut up fruit with some chili sauce. I might have to get the I just wanna show you a little bit of the area real quick. It seems like the Rojak lady is busy. Some sambal, sambal menta am kampong. So it's something with like chicken and sambal sauce. Okay, looks like we also have some Chinese food over here too. Xing Xing Sim Soup. So from what I've been seeing so far in Bratton, Indonesia, it's like has a heavy Chinese culture as well, or a heavy Chinese influence. I guess because maybe that's because it's right next to Singapore. So I don't know. Halal. So I'm just giving you an idea of like different stuff they're offering here. Also the prices. This is like about three dollars USD for some tom yam soup. Pretty good. Hello. Hi. Roti goreng. That also seems pretty good. So roti it means bread and goreng means fried. Fried bread. You get a whole box. So let, let's try it out if I can. Let me see. So it's three thousand five hundred for one piece. So one piece that's like thirty cents USD. Hi. Hello. So you sell roti goreng? Yes. So one piece is 3,500. Can I try out just one piece? Yes, one piece. Yeah, why not? I'll just get one piece. What? Yeah, I just want to try it out. Yes. Satu. Is it okay if I see how you make it? Okay. All right. So she's heating up the wok real quick and then she's gonna give me that roti goreng. In this video, I'm probably gonna eat some more. And I just ate too, so I don't wanna be a fatty and just eat so much, but yeah. Look at this, guys. Kinda feel bad only getting one because like, she's eating up the whole wok, but it's all right. I'll, I'll try to tip her. Pay her a little bit more. This is how it's supposed to look like from the inside. So roti goreng, this is Indonesian food? From Indonesia, yeah? Okay. And what's inside? 
Uh, fish. Fish inside. Okay, cool. And econ, econ, econ. There, there we go. That's how we say fish in Indonesia. Econ. Huh? Fish tuna. Fish tuna. Okay, tuna fish. Awesome. How many years do you do this here? One minute? No, no, no. I mean, uh, uh, how long are you here? Yes. Okay. Lack of communication, guys, but she's saying it takes one minute to make it. That's the only hard part. When you go to, like, foreign countries, it's hard to communicate, but I just, you know, people are very friendly, and that's how it is, because I can't speak their language, they can't speak mine. But we do speak the language of love, which is food. Huh? Saya, how do you say, Saya America? <laughs> yeah, I'm from America, yeah. How do you say in Indonesian? I am from America. Saya... Dari America. Saya Dari America, yeah. Saya Dari America, there we go. It's very small, only one. But I eat so much, so yeah, yeah, very hot. Did you have any sauce with this or no sauce? No. Okay. And now I have to pull out my money. Hey, this is 10,000. You can get, just give me 5,000 back. It's okay. Five. No, 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 just, just five. Just five. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Because I make you, I make you turn it on and stuff, and it's only one. All right, Tani Makasi. Bye-bye. All right, guys, let's, let's try out this food real quick. Let me just put my money back in my wallet. So this is roti goreng. It's still very hot, but let me just show you how it is. Okay, as always, Bismillah. Okay. This is tuna fish inside. So I'd say just like a fried dough ball, which it is. It's crispy from the outside, soft and going inside. Spicy too. Seems like she mixed uh, tuna fish with some sambal sauce. If you don't want sambal sauce, it's just like some local spicy sauce they use over here. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. I probably eat like 10 of these. But just for the video, we're just gonna eat one. Really good. All right, let me just see where the trash can is. Is there any trash can? No, let me just give it to her. <laughs> All right, uh, is there any like trash? Okay. Didn't even see. It was very good. Okay. Sad up. Yeah. Let me just walk around a little bit more. See if we can't find any other tasty foods that are just like something just little to snack on. These are like full meals. I'm telling you, prices in Indonesia compared to where I was just at, if you're following me. I was in Singapore, I was in Malaysia, I was in. Uh, Thailand, just in the last recent uh, few months. I have to say, I give it to Indonesia for price-wise. If you're on a budget, go come to Indonesia. For the prices, I'd say Indonesia has the best prices for like food and other stuff. But if you're looking for hotels, my experience personally, maybe I'm wrong, I feel like uh, Malaysia has really good hotel deals. But also Indonesia does too. That being said, just right over here, because I did walk around this area before I started this video a little bit. There are a couple hotels here. I did ask them the prices, which are about like $20 USD a night. But I suggest you stay somewhere in this area or if you know a better area. If you're Indonesian and you're watching this, please let us know. But you get some hotels for like $20 a night, $30, $40. Even if you want to stay here for a week, some of the hotels do have some special weekly rates, also one month rate, so yeah. Unlike a hotel somewhere down over here, there was like they're giving me a weekly rate for like $130, $115, yeah, but you save money by staying in a place for a week. I usually like to stay at a place usually for a week, two weeks, just so I can get like a more idea of like the area and investigate it some more, find some gems and then share it with you guys. So I did find online that this place is called A2 Food Court, which is a gigantic food court supposed to be popping during the day and also at night time. So let's walk over there and then after that we'll cross the street and show you some other stuff. Oh and by the way guys, there's a lot of money changers I've been seeing on the street. 
also a lot of massage parlors too. So if you're into exchanging your money or even uh, getting a massage, you can do it over here. And if I see some of the prices, I'll show you guys. A2 food court. So this is supposed to be one of the best places you can grab food in Batam, Indonesia. Let's walk inside. Just as we're walking inside, you can see there's a whole uh, parking lot. So I just got a little bit distracted by the guy on the motorcycle. But yeah, there's a whole uh, parking lot so you can park your car. At nighttime, I heard it gets very crowded. Let's see how crowded it is during the day. And I heard there's two parts of the market. One is like outdoor area and one has a rooftop area. Okay. Hello. Hello. Yeah, you can see there's a lot of Chinese people here too. Even like the food that we're about to see, I'm sure we're gonna find some different types of like Indonesian food, also Chinese food. Pisang goreng, so this is fried banana for 25K, so that's less than $2 USD. So let's just walk, let's walk around and see this uh, food court area. Oh, look at this, nasi biryani. So that's like rice, so nasi and their language means it's rice. And yeah, rice biryani for 30K, I'll take that, it's less than $2. Man, the food prices here are so amazing compared to where I'm from. And if you guys think it's expensive from where you're from, I don't know where you're watching this, but for, from where I'm from in America, you can never get like rice biryani for $2. And it is very popping over here. Look at this. Wow. So many different types of foods. Sayap, ayam, barbecue, barbecue chicken wings. Mm. If I find something that like good to snack on, we're definitely gonna eat. You know me and food. Well, this is not really a food video today. It's just more of a like uh, looking around, investigating kind of video to show you guys like how it is the local culture. Angi nasi campur. I'll just show you. So something that's interesting in like Indonesia and also like Malaysia that they have these foods on display that it's kind of like uh, buffet style. Kind of like if you go to like a Chinese restaurant in America, they always will have like food ready and you just tell her what you want. And depending on what you get, she'll like uh, decide on the price. Hello. So, as you said, uh, sorry, as I said before, not as you said, I don't know what I'm talking about, but anyways, yeah, you see the halal sign? So not everywhere in Indonesia is gonna be halal. And every country in the world have different halal regulations. Because I know some of my viewers, you guys are Muslim, and you guys are asking, is this halal, is that halal? You just have to ask the personal, like, stall, and ask them, are you serving her halal or not? Because I did see, I believe, where was it? I saw somewhere they were selling pork. Okay, let me just go this way real quick, guys. Yeah. So from what I've read online and I did my research, this area at nighttime is popping. A lot of people, as you can see, a lot of tables. This is like uh, the crowded area at nighttime. But during the day, because we are in Indonesia and Indonesia gets very hot, that's why people are just sitting underneath the shade and there's like fans running. And also sometimes it could be rainy too. So what, from what I heard is this area during nighttime, most of the shops will be closed. And then this area, it's like reverse, like this area will be open and just has a lot of variety of foods. I'll just walk around a little bit, why not? Because this is a popping area. I'm probably showing you like one of the best areas here in Batam. Like look at this, they have Shanghai, Wonton. They have some more Indonesian food. Oh, look at this, they just have the garlic out in the window. Yeah, I just see like one sign over here that has like a pig on it. Yeah. Hong Kong style steamed fish. Oh, look at this. There's like fish and stuff inside. Let's see. Just get, give you guys a better glimpse. But they put this thing on top because maybe they don't want the... It's kind of interesting. It's like a little shaded thing for like the fish. Probably to keep them cool. Well, those were shrimp. 
A5, Stingray, barbecue. And you guys have to let me know. Do you want to see this during the nighttime while it's like popping and everyone's here? You have to let me know what you want to see because you're my viewer, so I'd love to show you as much as I can. I'm only one man squad out here. So please don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe. Let me see. Gorang back. Just kind of curious, what does this have? Yeah, so like they do sell just like pork products too. So if you really want some crispy pork and rice. Interesting. Because I actually had one friend, she's Chinese Indonesian, and she was saying she lives in Jakarta. And she was saying in Jakarta, she can't find pork. So I guess like every island in Indonesia or every area in Indonesia is completely different. Even like in the local convenience stores, I just came in like two or three, they were selling alcohol, which was weird because when I was in Jakarta last year or the year before that, they were not selling any alcohol in any convenience store. So I think uh, Indonesia, depending where you go to, every place will have like certain regulations regarding pork and alcohol and whatnot. Hello, hi. Abba Kaba. You good? Good. I'm just uh, looking around this area, showing my friends. Where are you come from? Uh, Sayadari, America. Ah, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Yeah, just uh, at nighttime, this area is very crowded, right? Yes, very crowded place. So I have a question. Why at nighttime, so at, during the day, this area is crowded? Yes. And then that area is, sorry, during the daytime, this area is crowded? And then at nighttime, this area is here. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, what what time does it become crowded? Six o'clock? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, thank you. What, what are you eating? What is this? Uh, rice. Rice and uh, corn. Rice and corn, um, okay. Is it sad up? Very tasty? It is. Okay, cool. Have you ate already? Huh? No, yeah, I ate. Thank you so much. Yeah, I ate. But I don't want to disturb you while you're eating. Uh, it's okay, never mind. You, you work over here? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. Which, which place? Uh, I stay nearby in one of the hotels. Uh, yeah. All right, nice to meet you. I'm just uh, looking around the area. Is this is this one of the best areas in Batam? Yes, the this, best is Batam. The, you say this is the best yes. or one of the um, best? Food court, the very good place. So this is the best, okay. Uh, finish the center and then the market opposite there. Opposite, there's market. a market? Yeah, wet what market. Wet market, what do they sell over and there? Groceries also have there. Okay, okay um, I might go. Is it just, so how do you go straight or? Okay. Awesome. Okay. I think I'm going to check this out too because I'm making a video so I want to just show about them. Very easy. Go to the mall there, have here, mall have. She's setting up the video for us. Okay. I love you so much. No, honestly, because I'm thinking like what to record and what to show in the area. I think I'm going to cross the street and show the wet market. Yes. Okay. Cool. Thank you so much. How many days you stay here? Huh? How many days? Only for like about, uh, it's like a week or two. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Are you from Batam? No, I'm from Jakarta. Jakarta. Yeah, something that I was telling my viewers is that also like in Jakarta, uh, I believe, do you guys sell pork in Jakarta or no? Yes. No, because I was talking to one of my, I have one uh, Chinese, Indonesian friend, she said it's so hard to find pork yeah, in Jakarta. Yeah, Lokain people, Lokain food. Yeah. So, so are, you, are you Indonesian or Chinese Indonesian? Or? Indonesia, Java. Java, okay, cool. All right, awesome. Thank you so much. Hey, Take care. Hey, you can continue eating. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. Hopefully, I'll see you around. Maybe I come one night. Okay. Where you work? Which one? I stay just the opposite Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. All right, Teddy Makasi. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, bye -bye. You too. That was a nice lady. I always like uh, meeting locals because they always have the right information. So, yeah, this is called... Well, uh, welcome to A2 Food Course. This is called A2 Food Course. So, save it on your... Google Maps before you come here. Walk a little bit around here and then we're going to go to the wet market. Different turn of events. Why not? I didn't want to talk to the lady too much, guys. I could have probably just sat down and maybe had a coffee or tea with her, but I felt bad. She was just eating. She seemed very friendly, though. Hey, let me just show you guys real quick. Nasty, I am. Apple. So you see the head of the Chinese. Hello. Hello. I'm just uh, seeing your shop. Chicken and rice. And how much is a normal chicken and rice? Uh, Let's see. When, oh yeah, okay, so it's 22000 for like a normal plate of chicken and rice. 27000 Which conversion rate is 
less than two dollars USD. So that's like a dollar seventy, I want to say. Yeah. Cool. And this is Chinese, Chinese type, right? Yeah. Hokan or what kind of Chinese? Hokan. Let's see. Chinese. Huh? Chinese. You can speak Chinese? Chinese. Can. Very good. I'm saying this is Chinese, Chinese type, ma? Chinese. This is now Hokan, Hokan type. ご視聴ありがとうございました so if you're a Mandarin speaker, you're wondering if they can speak Mandarin? Yes, some people can. Okay, let me just show you. This place over here is a massage parlor, but literally in this area, I've seen like five or 10, or I don't even know how many I saw, but let me just show you the prices real quick. I love when I'm just winging a video. I know what I wanna show, but not really, it's the same type. One hour is 126,000 Indonesian rupiah, which is like $7, $8 an hour for a massage. Yeah, definitely come to come to Indonesia for massages. My best pick so far from my travels in Southeast Asia, I would say probably number one for massages is Thailand for like the prices and then also like they have so many different types of massages. And number two would probably be Indonesia. Let's keep on walking. Walking and talking. I think this is a good first impressions video. You see like how clean the, the area is too. Seems like a, a little bit of trash, but overall it seems like, it doesn't seem dirty. Seems like decently clean. The way it's crowded. And, oh, and something I want to show you guys is a lot of people over here in Batam, Indonesia, they ride on uh, motorbikes. And honestly, it's a cheaper method to get around the island because you do see there is a lot of traffic. There's a lot of traffic. I feel like I'm not, sometimes when I speak, I feel like I'm not a native English speaker, but there's a lot of traffic over here and uh one of the best ways to get around the traffic is just take a motorbike on grab which is just like uber definitely if you come here download grab and uh have a good time let's cross the street see look as we're crossing the street another massage spa place another massage spa place over here uh yeah so from what i've been seeing in batam that a lot of people actually are coming from Singapore for like a weekend trip and uh, just to like do shopping, just to buy some clothes because Batam, Indonesia compared to... Yes, yes. yes, hello. How are you? Good, apa kaba? Bye? Good? Okay. The guy just says yes, yes, and he doesn't even reply on the camera. <laughs> I love it. There's another Circle K. Sifang Yuan. I wonder how this area is going to look like in 10 years because this area, it seems like it has been really developing. Just when I got in through the ferry, there were a lot of cranes I saw and a lot of development happening here. So I think in 10 years, this place is going to be really prosperous. I don't know who's investing a lot of money into this place, but maybe it's the local government, maybe it's somebody. Hello? You good? How are you? Good, how are you? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, the guy's just looking at me and staring. Some barbershop over here. Oh, speaking of barbershops, I just, uh, just before the video, I got a haircut and then also uh, I shaved myself for like, it was supposed to be like one of these barbershops over here was like a hundred, what was it, like 160,000 Indonesian rupees. It's around like $10 US, but you can get cheaper I heard, but this is more expensive. Uh, it's across the street. What is this over here? Is this the wet market? I'm trying to look for the wet market. Hi, uh, excuse me. Where's the wet market? Wet market? Behind, over here? Oh, okay, cool. All right, all right cool. Let's go this way. Thank you. Probably it's all closed, I think. I'll, I'll just Let's walk. Check it out here. Thank you. <laughs> Let's see. So now we're walking through this little market alleyway over here. Mm -mm. Let's see. 
I love it. This is like all part of traveling. You get to just go through some random alleyways and see the wet market. It was more like clothes and stuff. Big boss. Hi, I'm just wondering how much is this one? Like Barapa? Lima Puring. Uh, do you have the calculator? Uh, just to see. Let's see. Do you have an idea of some shorts? These are nice. If there was one with pockets, 50,000? Yeah. Do you have any shorts with pockets like this one? Like. Um. Let's see. Um. Like this one? Polo sports. Do you have others? Other or just this one? Yeah, this one. Let me see. I can find another pair of shorts I might buy. Cause I usually like it without any like logos or like if it is a logo, something more nicer than that. No? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Thank you. And this is also 50,000 too? Forty, okay. Thank, terima kasih. Thank you so much. Yeah, guys, so you could buy a lot of different fashions over here for the family. They have kids' clothes. They got shorts for men. All right, awesome. So fifty thousand. That's about three dollars and twenty cents. I'm thinking on the top of my head because remember, one. Oh, look at those. I don't know if you guys saw that on the ground. Looks like they have some mice over here, some rats. Okay, so this is the wet market the lady was talking about. Yeah, it looks like it reminds me of the one wet market I was in Kuala Lumpur. See this guy just sleeping, chilling. But something at these wet markets, like they're very fresh and very clean food. So they usually just open in the morning and then close in the afternoon right now. It's like what, 2 p.m., 3 p.m.? So I guess they're already closed for the most part. Hello. Okay, I do see some stuff. I just saw like a rat on the ground. But yeah, cause the, you know, cause there's a lot of meat and also like fish here. So I guess the rats are just attracted to that. Poultry. Mm. The wet market, something pretty cool. In America, we call this like a farmer's market, but we usually have it like specially like on weekends, but this seems like a weekday thing. Some veggies. Man, these wet markets really smell funny. Cause you just smell like all these different like dried fish and like strange things to me. Yeah, look at this. This is something that's interesting. It's something we don't have in America, that vegetable. What else something we don't have? Well, we pretty much have all of them. Hello, Abakava. Pineapple, there's pineapple over there. Hmm, interesting. Hi, uh, I'm just looking at, he has beans, beans, some tomatoes. Means, greens, tomatoes. <laughs> Hi. Nice. You speak nice. English? Very good. Ing English? No? No. No. Very good. This is tofu? Tahu. Tofu and it's yeah. little mushrooms. Okay, cool. Just I'm just looking around the market. Yeah. Alright, Terima Kasi. Yeah, thanks. Ooh, it is getting very hot. I think because uh, I've been talking so much, I might have to go and get something to drink. Hello, Mister. Hi, Mister. How are you guys doing? What is this? Five hundred. Uh, firework for Chinese New Year. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, okay. Xin Nian Kuai Le. Xin Nian Kuai Le. All right. Awesome. Oh, well, look at this. Oh, this is Open Epen. Yeah. Open Epen. Yeah, I know that. Very famous. <laughs> All right. Cool. Just looking at the wet market, seeing how it is. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Check this out, okay. 
That was interesting. See another Indo Thai spa hat place. I should have, I think, should have once uh, came here a little bit earlier so I could have saw like the market in full detail. But yeah, that being said, let's head towards the mall and see what's up with the mall. But let's just keep on rolling. Mangosteen, one of my favorites. And they have this. Have you ever seen this fruit before on the left? I don't know what's called in English. Please let me know what it's called. They have a lot of pickled fruit over here. I want to see if they have. Uh, hmm. This place might have water. A lot of the ladies looking at me like, what is this guy doing? Hello. Hello. Uh, do you have uh, water? Ayer? Yeah. Want the mineral water or. Aqua? Aqua, uh, how much is this, is this mineral water? Yeah, mineral water. How much is this? Four thousand. Do you understand? Wow, really. Wow, say, you will speak German. You are not German. So I can speak. You can speak English. You can speak Bahasa Indonesia and also Mandarin. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So high, really high. Yes. You are Leo, Leo, Leo. Okay. Ah, me go. Saya dari Amerika. Yeah. Mandarin bisa. <laughs> All right. Uh, five thousand. Okay. Yeah. One second. Yeah, four thousand. Uh, oh, discount for Chinese New Year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, just okay. All right. Let's see. So hundred thousand, fifty thousand. This is ten thousand. Thank you. Thank you, Teri Makasi and Shishini. <laughs> All the languages. Tai Hao La. Aqua. All right. Actually, can you, can you open it for me? Because I'm, yeah. I'm recording the whole area, showing my friends how the area is. Oh, okay. Okay, there we go. All right, bye bye. Thank you. Uh, you see that guy could. So you see a lot of people here could speak Mandarin, English, Indonesian. I need to learn Indonesian because if I learn Indonesian or even if I learn Malaysian, then I could speak uh, both languages for the most part. And I heard it's very easy compared to other languages. How oh, refreshing. How you can judge a place is actually, I learned this from one of my friends, is a bottle of water. So this is 4,000 Indonesian. Uh, Indonesian rupiah, which is about, let's see, 4,000 is about like 23 cents USD. Wait, let me see. No, actually like 26. I have to do, I'm a mathematician. I'm just doing all the calculations in my head. Ah, oh, really refreshing. All right, guys, let me just pause real quick, drink water, relax a little bit, and continue on the video. So I just finished drinking my water and I just stumbled upon these two cuties. Look at this little kitten. And then also we have a pirate kitty. Why is he a pirate? Because he's missing an eye. They're too busy eating that. I don't know if you can see this one over here is missing an eye. Oh, look at the kitties. I love cats. Growing up, I had a couple of them. Yes, but now I have no idea where they're at. All right, but that being said, I, don't, I just love cats. So I had to put them in the video. Aren't they cute? Cute animals. Don't worry, I do love dogs too, but dogs are just too wild. Especially like if you have them in the house. All right, let's continue. The weather today is perfect, I have to say. Like usually when I'm in like this part of Southeast Asia, I'd be boiling right now, but I have like barely been sweating. Hello. Okay, so yeah, so this was like the wet market area. Now, let's just go to the mall for a bit and check it out. So far, my first impressions of Vatim Indonesia, people are very friendly. There's a strong Chinese influence. Food is very reasonably priced. One of the best prices you could find in the world and also very tasty too. Uh, Cause I just was in the mall and I had some like, uh, what did I have? I had some, it wasn't, it wasn't, sorry guys, it wasn't Indonesian food. It was like some udon, some like Japanese food but it was tasty and it was very reasonably priced. It was only about like $3 USD. And let's just keep on walking. And now let's check out one of the newest malls here in Batam, Indonesia. From what I read online, this opened up about four years ago. 
in 2019. Well, uh, I guess approximately five years ago. So uh, yeah, let's cross the street. How are we gonna cross the street? That's the question. I believe over there is a crosswalk. Yeah, I see there's a crosswalk. So once I cross the street, uh, we'll continue. All right, I'm approaching the crosswalk. And something I also want to point out to you that in Indonesia, people drive on the left versus on the right. Because I'm from America and we drive on the right side of the road. Hello. So check this out, guys. So I want to cross the road and this guy is going to help us out. Have you ever seen this ever in the world? Like this guy literally will just cross left and right and like stop the cars for you and he'll assist you crossing the road. That's very nice. Okay. Hey guys. Awesome. Indonesia is one of a kind. Because if this guy isn't here with his stick, it'll be kind of hard to cross the road because cars are going fast. Very nice in the sky. Terima kasih. Thank you. Awesome. Bye bye. Okay. Now let's go this way. Very nice. And over here, I guess people are just waiting to uh, take you on their motorbikes. I would suggest just use the application called called uh, Grab. That's the best way to do it. Because uh, these motorbike guys, they might overcharge you. Maybe not, maybe they're less than Grab, but just for safety reasons, everything, I'll just say Grab. You're, you set up with a price, you pay also with your credit card. So it's very efficient. So this is the beginning of the Grand Bantam Mall. Let's go inside and check it out. You gotta be careful of the cars. Okay. This is lobby one. So I guess there's other lobbies too. Okay, time to enter the mall, guys. Let's see how a mall in Batam, Indonesia looks like. Okay. So check this mall out, it's gigantic. Uh, what do I wanna say? Yeah, it's just a new and gigantic mall, very modern. Very nice. If you never heard of Batum, maybe you should come here and just see how beautiful it is. Seems like they are advertising a lot of different types of cars, like a Subaru over here. This car company, I have no idea what that is. Probably a Chinese brand company. Wuling, yeah, that's definitely a Chinese company. Let's see what else is happening over here. What is this? This is Valentine's Kids Fashion Runaway Competition. Okay. You know, there are music that is happening over there, so I didn't want to get close to it because you guys know the drill already if you've been watching my videos. So, to me, honestly, I'm so amazed of like how uh, developed this mall is too. Oh, there we go. That oh, I guess, I don't know, is that a lady or a girl? I don't, I don't know. But I guess people are just practicing their runaway stuff. Look at this, Nature Republic. They have a lot of different like, what do I want to say? They have a lot of different Western brands here too. Yeah, I see H&M. What do I see? Let me just show there's brick and stock over here. Brickenstock? Yeah, I think that's how you say it. My friend loves these uh, sandals. Let me know if you own a pair. He's really advising me to go. Oh, there's even a cosplay over here. The girl's wearing cosplay. Look at this. I guess this is like a developing real estate area. Garden Avenue residence. Hi. Actually, let me ask the guy. Hi, can, excuse me. Can you speak English? You can? I was just wondering how much is like these residence things? <laughs> Million or billion? Billion. 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 Rupiah, okay. Uh, 150,000 Singapore. 150,000 Singapore. Okay. And is this a house or what is this? Houses. Houses. How many bedrooms? Uh, four bedrooms. 
How many square feet about? Uh, the, the building area is 427. And then area is one, uh, uh, 127 uh, square meters. Yeah, square meters. Square meters. And then area is 7 times uh, 15 meters. 7 times 15. Uh, so, so about uh, 105 meters. So one unit, one unit here would be uh, about 150,000 Singapore dollars, right? Yeah, the, 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 the biggest one. For now on, the biggest one is 150,000. That's the biggest? Or yeah. these are bigger, it looks like? Uh, this is where we're not launching yet. Oh, uh, okay, so you're just launching the smaller ones, uh, kind of? Smaller one, yeah. Uh, 100,000. And are they two level or one level? Uh, two level. Two so level. This is uh, two level. Okay, and another question, can foreigners buy property? Uh, Yes, but there is a minimum requirement. You What's must buy uh, one unit or uh, two hundred thousand Singapore dollar. The price, so, the price for one unit. So if this is one hundred fifty thousand, how how would that work? Uh, for them already, I'm sorry, you cannot. Uh, okay, but I have a question. Can I buy one property for two hundred thousand, then the next unit for less? Is that okay? Uh, no, cannot. Uh, you, you must buy one unit for minimum price two hundred thousand. But what if I want to buy a second unit too? No, cannot. The only one unit. Only one unit. Ah, okay. That means I'd have to buy. And how much are these when they? Uh, this is we're This is villa. Uh, okay. Villa. Uh, villa. It's about not much yet, but the price is about uh, nine hundred thousand. Yeah. And how far is it from here? Uh, this area is about eight kilometers. Eight kilometers. Like by car, it's like twenty minutes, uh, maybe. Yeah, one twenty minutes. Okay. Cool. And Garden Avenue. And what is your name? Uh, Junjun. Junjun. Yes. Okay, Ni Hui Shuo Zhong Wanma? I'm sorry? Ni Hui Shuo Zhong Wanma? Better speaking Okay, awesome. No, no, I'm just right now I'm recording a video of the mall. But guys, if you want to come, see Jun Jun, Garden Avenue. Are you here every day? Yeah, uh, almost every day. Okay. Mm, man, I want, I want. I would love to. Uh, Batum is very beautiful, but unfortunately, I don't meet the requirements. Huh? You are vlogging now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just showing the mall a little bit, showing how it is. All right, thank you so much. Thank you so much. That guy was very nice. Okay. So, yeah, guys, uh, let me show you Marlow Mall. I'm just, you know, I'm just curious. Anytime when I go to a new place, I like to see how much is the real estate, what are the prices going for. That's a new manufactured home. He said it like 127,000 meters for 150,000 Singapore dollars, which is in USD. Because I'm a human calculator, and no, I'm just joking. Like maybe like 120,000, 130 USD. It's not bad. And look how big this mall is, guys. Wow, this is Batam, Indonesia. Check it out. Let's walk around a little bit on this level. I'm not going to give you a full detailed video of the mall, but if you'd like to see more of the mall, I can just you know go over every floor, see some shops and you know to show you a full detailed video because this this video is mostly just about like my first impressions on like how i feel how i think of batam indonesia i think this is a really nice place uh if you want to escape singapore for like a weekend or even if you just come to singapore and you want to come to batam indonesia definitely just hop over the ferry one hour and see it for yourself i think it's pretty developed i did see some areas that are not as developed but the city center seems very lively i feel safe uh, people are very nice, but also I want to say, I'm just having a good time here too. Everything seems reasonably priced. Mm, that's all I can say really, so far for my first impressions. I'm, I'm loving the area and this is a place which I never really thought I was going to come. I always wanted to take the ferry, but I never knew when. And my friend was visiting me, he was like, hey, why don't we just go to... Uh, Indonesia, I was like, hey, why don't we just go to Singapore and then we go to Indonesia. And I told them about the whole ferry thing. Because not a lot of foreigners know about that. Okay, and that being said, uh, hmm, I think I'm going to finish up my video. I just need to find a place where I can make a nice picture for the video. Please, as always, uh, smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to watch more videos around the world, click somewhere up on the screen. That being said, I'll see you later. Take care. Love you as always. Oh, and shout out to the channel members. Bruce Wayne is the only channel member, and you can be one too. Bye, guys.